This Rent the Bash video will cover how to inflate, tie, and size balloons. First, to inflate the balloon, we are going to use our inflation tool that comes with all our packages with balloons. So you'll wrap the balloon, see here, to the head of the inflator tool for several seconds. After inflating to the approximate size, run the balloon through the balloon sizer and release air to achieve the required size. For this example, we're going to use the nine inch balloon size. When you push it through, you wanna make sure it just barely, when you release air, that the balloon barely goes through. Next, we're going to tie balloon using a specialty made balloon tying tool that also comes in all our packages with balloons. The tool goes on the inside of your hand. So you'll put it in this way. You want the cup of the balloon tying tool to be in the palm of your hand, as well as the slit. You'll take the end of the balloon and wrap it over the tool, and then through the wrapped portion. Then simply pull into a knot. We love this tool because it makes tying balloons much easier on your fingers and a little faster. In the past, we've tried balloon clips, but this tool is just as fast and much less likely to lose air in the balloon. Now, in order to tie a ribbon to a balloon using this tool, you'll take the ribbon, run it through the slit in the balloon tool. So it'll look like this. Then you'll take the end of the balloon and wrap it over the tool. After it's gone through, you'll want to take the string and tie a knot just to secure the balloon to the ribbon, even more so. You can use this same technique with a deflated balloon instead of a ribbon. This is how we put a large balloon on top of a balloon column. You'll take the deflated balloon, run it through the slit in the balloon tool. You'll take the end of the inflated balloon, wrap it over the tool, and then through the wrapped portion. Then simply pull into a knot around the deflated balloon. Thanks for watching this video. Everything you see here is available at rentthebash.com.